Good morning, Hoover Math and Science Academy students and staff. Hi, my name is Rashita, and I am coming to you live from the WHVR studio. Today is Monday, December 15th, 2014. In weather today, the village of Schomburg is expected to have a high of 51 and a low of 42 with rain. Now please stand and join us in saying our nation's pledge. Our pledge people for today are Catherine, Scandal, Alicia, Gabby. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In sports, the Blackhawks won last night against the Calgary Flames with a score of 2-1. to one. The Bulls also won last night against the Miami Heat with a score of 93-75. to 75. And the Bears will play the New Orleans Saints tonight on Monday Night Football at 7.30. Clubs meeting today are the Hoover Harmonics at 3 o'clock in room 115. Craft Club will meet in room 105 at 3 o'clock. The Garden Club the Garden Art Club will be, is meeting in room 104 at 3 o'clock, and Club Unify will meet in room 101 at 3 o'clock. Tonight is our Burgers and Books fundraiser at Fuddruckers and Barnes and & Noble on Golf Road. Enjoy dinner and purchase books. Proceeds will support our school. And now a message from Mr. Now, now a message from Mr. Schmelzer. <laughs> Thank you, Rashitha. Good morning, Hoover Hawks. Should I do one of these? All right, that's enough holiday spirit for today. Just a reminder that this is the last week of school before winter break, so we do have one week left. We are going to be doing map makeups uh, this week along with our regular map testing through Wednesday. So teachers, please bear with us as we call students down to do the uh, makeups. We do have quite a few. Uh, a couple of uh, thank yous. Number one, congratulations to our very own Omega Hawks. They are our first Lego League team and they had a competition this past Saturday and they won the Rookie Team Award and really it was just a because of their overall performance. It was Hoover's first time at the first Lego League, and the Hawks really uh, faced some, uh, some, some difficulties that they overcame. So again, congratulations to all of them. Great job, way to represent Hoover. And I want to thank uh, Ms. Erickson, Mrs. Rizmani, and Mrs. Moore for coaching the first Lego League. So great job to you as well. And then again, um, I want to thank, we've had a number of positions throughout the year that have not been filled by substitute teachers, and so we've really had to call on some of our other staff to fill in. And I know in particular, I've really had to pull uh, Mrs. Cardoza, Mrs. Del Vecchio, and Mrs. Moore. So I want to thank all three of you personally uh, for all of the help that you've done, along with all the other staff members that have filled in here or there. So thank you. And one more thing real quick, if we could have our Omega Hawks stand up, please. Stand up in your classrooms. There should be uh, 10 of you, I believe, on the team. If you are around them right now, give them a high five because they did a great job. Congratulations. And that's all I have for today. Have a great day or not. The choice is yours. Thank you, Mr. Schmelzer. You're welcome. Here's today's fun fact. The idea for the first artificial Christmas tree started in Germany in the 1880s. In order to save the forest artificial trees made with goose feathers that were dyed green were introduced. The goose feather Christmas trees made their way to the United States and were popular in the 1920s. Today, to help save the forest, for every Christmas tree that is cut down, three seedlings are planted in its place. Now that's being green. That's all for today. This week's pre-broadcast pictures and sign-offs are brought to you by the third graders in room 115. Great job, third graders. Have a mystical Monday. <laughs>